I'll tell you what I can do. I can smack these guys around. There we go, now we can. So out onto the deck. Quite a codfish, that Riku. Running off with that girl without even saying goodbye. Run off where? Tell me, where did he go? To the ruins of Hollow Bastion, where Maleficent resides. Uh, but you won't be going there. <gasps> Unless you intend to leave your little pixie friend behind. Hand <sighs> over the Keyblade and I'll spare your lives. I'm glad I'm merciful, unlike the Heartless. So, which will it be? The Keyblade? Or the Plank? It's him! The crocodile that took me hand! Oh, it's me! He's after me other hand! I can't stay here! Go away! Oh, I can't stand the sight of him! Me! You take care of them! Sora, just believe, and you can do it. Thanks, Peter. Hey, don't mention it. You didn't think I'd leave you and Tink behind, did you? Yay! We can fly! We can fly! We can fly! We can fly! Okay, so let's go and swap out for Peter again. Because now things get interesting. So, in Neverland, Nor Sora and his friends can fly. While jumping, press circle to fly. Then press cir uh, circle to rise and square to descend. Kind of like the undersea mechanics of Atlantica. You're all going down! So, this is where it gets difficult because now we have to fly to take care of these guys. And unfortunately, you have to deal with similar mechanics to Atlantica, but I would actually dare say <coughs> this is a lot harder because of how floaty, pardon the pun, floaty flying is. Oh no, we gotta take care of this galleon. Now obviously, this is probably a given. Is that you, Smee? Did you finish them off? Aye, Captain. They walk the plank, every last one of them. Ah! Blast you! Ready to make a splash, you codfish? Now it's your turn to walk the plank. All right, it's time for us to face off against Captain Hook. We don't need to worry too much about that, though. So this is obviously, what, what I was trying to say before is that flying in this world is obviously a given. You have to at least allow for care, for people to fly. Don't you agree, Andrea? Oh, yes. You have to at least try and do a flying mechanic. So I'll, I'll give it to the Square Enix crew for trying to at least make it work. But yeah, it's floaty as crap. Thankfully, as you can see, Hook is not that hard. Oh, yay, Goofy leveled up. Yay.
Mary couldn't wake up, so maybe she's really lost her... <gasps> Sora! I still can't believe it. I really flew. Wait till I tell Kyrie. I wonder if she'll believe me. Probably not. You can bring her to Neverland sometime. Then she can try it herself. If you believe, you can do anything, right? I'll find Kyrie. I know I will. There's so much I want to tell her about flying, the pirates, and everything else that's happened. What's that, Tink? What about the clock tower? You say there's something there. So now we get to see the other half of Neverland, which is jolly old London, because everybody remembers that cutscene or that particular scene from P the Peter Pan movie, right? Yep, definitely. Uh, the the ascension into Neverland from here. Uh, but we actually do have a couple of chests that we can grab. So a flare gummy right here. Well, so the here's the sad reality is that we now have seen Kyrie and her heart has been taken. So that's already not good. And Riku, I don't think, has the best of plans for her. Can we at least say that? Yeah. Um, but I will say this. This is actually, in a lot of cases, I, like, I've seen a lot of YouTubers that are absolute fans of the Neverland world. And the main reason is basically because of that scene where, you know, he's like, I, fl I flew. I can't even believe I flew. Uh, I wonder what Kyrie would think. Probably not. She probably wouldn't believe me. Because it is a magical moment. It's actually one of those things that... Uh, I've seen some people on the internet say that um, Walt Disney would actually be d dissatisfied with Kingdom Hearts. He would hate the idea of it. But I'm actually not there. I actually think that if Walt Disney were alive today, he would love the character of Sora. Because I can't think of a character that, em that embodies Disney beliefs more than the character of Sora. So at that point, I, I actually think Walt would like him. And probably Walt would, would want to be a part of his development. But that's me. Andrea looks like she's disagreeing with me. No. Oh. Huh? Okay. Hi, Wendy. What does Wendy have to say? You'll, you'll find your Sora. Just don't give up. Okay, so I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, we have to face the uh, clock, don't we? Yeah. Oh, you, no, you have to find the clock. I think check the other so clocks. Maybe okay, that. Okay, so. Just to make sure. Yep. Okay, so go back to that one. Yeah, so we got it. Yeah, I was going to say that we have to make it face midnight. Yeah, so just hit it. But I think you have to target it. Oh, you do? Okay, there we go. So all we got to do is make it similar to the other clocks. Kind of like the original scene and midnight. Sora. <laughs> when we grow up, let's get off this island. We'll go on real adventures, not this kid stuff. Sure, but isn't there anything fun to do now? Hey, you know the new girl at the mayor's house? She arrived on the night of the meteor shower.
It was reckless to bring her here without at least using a vessel. Remember, relying too heavily on the dark powers could cost you your heart. A castaway. Though his world perished, his heart did not. When we took the princess from his castle, he apparently followed her here through sheer force of will. But fear not. No harm will come to you. He is no match for your power. Her power? Yes. The untapped power that lies within you. Now, child, it's time you awakened that power and realized your full potential. to Neverland? Afraid so. But we can see each other anytime. As long as you don't forget about Neverland, that is. <laughs> oh boy, she's getting steamed again. Do me a favor. Look after her for me, will ya? What? Hmm. So we now learned the summon spell Tinkerbell. And we get the fairy harp. And we get glide. Yay. Not All as good right. as flying, so but. That's already a lot to be able to take in. We have the glide ability now, but we also got ours arcanum. So I'm going to show this off really quick. Uh, just the all of the abilities that we just barely got. So Ars Arcanum, a formidable attack after a combo, so like follow-up attack again for a double combo. So we'll probably want to have this later on, especially with some of the harder fights that we're going to get. And then Shared, we want the Glide ability, which now we can go to a bunch of worlds and, re and now claim chests and other things that we didn't have access to before. Now the added bonus also is that uh, we now have a new summon. And I don't think can we show them in you can, Well you have to get you have to make sure you have everyone in your party. So I don't think with Peter Pan you can have her. Oh no no no. I I meant like in the uh the menu the menu screen. I don't think we can, so Well you can summon if you get rid of Peter in your party, I think. Uh where's the save point? Do we have one for the Above, I tower? think. Okay. <gasps> Fly We Oh yeah, that's right. It's up here. So yeah, but can we show, uh... Let's try. I'm not talking about, like, showing it in combat. I'm saying show it in the menu. I don't think we can. I don't know. So let's actually go back to the uh, mag magician study, and then we'll show off Tinkerbell. So that's technically the last, or the second to last summon we get. Oh! Well, we found the Davy Gummy piece. Let's go back to town. Sid will install it on the ship once we bring it to him. There's a tournament being held at the Coliseum! I hear there's a great reward for the winner! Okay, so now we have actually another tournament that we can do over at the Olympus Coliseum. But first, let's head over to Travis Town. We'll at least talk to Sid and also show off the Tinkerbell summon. This is basically the, uh, the reason that Bambi and Tinkerbell are some of the best summons in this game. You will now see. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do that. Thankfully, we don't have to do the 100 Acre Wood. We just barely completed that. Let's go ahead and talk to... I don't think we actually have to... Yeah, it's not a jewel. So we could just go up to Merlin's floor to try her out. I believe so. There we go. Yeah, practice magic. And let's just get some stationary guys here. Practice magic, stationary targets. Off we go. Okay, so with that, now we can summon. So we have Simba, Genie, Bambi, Dumbo, and Tinkerbell. Right. 
Aw, he's so cute. <laughs> so like Bambi, where Bambi would drop magical items, Tinkerbell will heal you. So she's kind of the ideal one along with Bambi because if you're low on magic, you summon Bambi. If you need extra healing in a particular fight, then you bring out Tinkerbell and she will just heal you periodically until her summon runs out. Which is a good, helpful item. Yes, it is. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and dismiss Tinkerbell. <coughs> let's dismiss Tink and go back down. And I guess while we're here, we'll we'll go ahead and hit Sid. Yep. Not hit him, but you know, we'll we'll, we'll visit him. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be really lazy and gummy ship, and then I'm just gonna warp drive. Doesn't even matter, guys, because I'm just basically warping back in to go back into Traverse Town, except now in the first district. Somebody's going to put in the comments, you were so lazy. <laughs> Dang right. And now we can also glide. Yay. So this means more work for Andrea because now she needs to figure out all the chests we need because of the fact that we can now glide. Uh, let's go visit Geppetto too, just in case. Oh, Sora, look what I cooked up this time. So Cactar, there you go. So this blueprint is actually another reference to Final Fantasy. There are beings in the universe called cactars, basically walking little uh, cactuses that are cute as could be. Let's talk to Sid. Looks like you found the other one. Let me see it. Okay, wait here. I'll get it installed right now. Dang, Moogles, get out of here. <laughs> Now, just remember what Donald said to you. No frowning, no sad faces. How can you be so cheerful? There's still no sign of your king. Aren't you worried? I'm worried. The king told us to go out and find the key bearer, and we found you, so as long as we stick together, it'll all work out okay. You just got to believe in yourself, that's all. Just believe. I believe in you. Am I? Long ago, people lived in peace, bathed in the warmth of light. Everyone loved the light. They, the people then began to fight over it. They wanted to keep it for themselves. And the darkness was born in their hearts. Darkness spread, swallowing the light and many people's hearts. It coveted every, or covered everything, and the world disappeared. But small fragments of light survived in the hearts of children. With these fragments of light, children rebuilt the lost world, Jurassic Park. <laughs> it is the world we live in now, but the true light sleeps deep within the darkness. That's why the worlds are still scattered, divided from each other. But someday a door to the innermost darkness will open and the true light will return. So listen, child, even in the deepest darkness, there will always be a light to guide you. Believe in the light, and the darkness will never defeat you. Your heart will shine with its power and push the darkness away. Do you understand, Kyrie? Kyrie? the matter? Um, nothing. Kyrie, did you call me? Uh, 
I installed that navigation gummy. But you know, that place is crawling with Heartless. Don't say I didn't warn you. Hmm? Here, take this along. A transform G. Okay, so now that we have that too. The other thing too that I also want to show off is we got a new king, uh, a new keyblade. And that is the fairy harp. So it raises max MP by one and enhances magic and summon power. So this is like, if you're a caster character, this is awesome. Sometimes deals powerful critical blows, but we don't care about that because we have the pumpkin head. And pumpkin head is great for us, at least until we get the final weapon. Uh, so not really anything else I think we can do in Traverse Town. Yeah, I think we're I think we're up to speed. So let's go ahead and leave. And I think it's time to take on a tournament, Andrea. Oh yeah, the next tournament. All right. Oh, that's you. All Sorry. right, let's head on to the new world. <coughs> Hold on, Donald. We don't know what's out there. Why don't we revisit other worlds first? I'm sure we'll find some new items. Okay, so now basically that's an indicator like you have every ability up until this point. Uh, why not go back to the other worlds and see what you can find? But uh, it's also kind of a way to say this is kind of a point of no return. Make sure you do this stuff because things get harder from here. This is kind of a typical Square Enix trope of saying, you know, this is where you can't return. This is where it gets harder. Make sure that you're ready for it. Especially when you look at these battle levels. <coughs> um, let me let me kind of show the pro progression here. Uh, battle level. One star, two stars, three stars for you kind of see a progression here, guys, where it gets difficult. And now we get red. So obviously it's an area that's crawling with Heartless. It's not a, it's not a place that you want to go there lately. But we're going to take care of a tournament first, because why not? Yay. Back to the Olympus Coliseum. Now, I think this actually gives us access to the last official story tournament of the Olympus Coliseum. There are bonus cups, but uh, this is gonna be the one that kind of concludes the story. So here we go. You know the rules, right? Which tournament do you want to enter? So the Hercules Cup. And yes, I want to enter together because this is our first time going in. Are we prepared for this, Andrea? I don't, I don't think oh, we Oh yes, are. we are, we are. Okay, so Gargoyles and Shadows. Yeah, baby. Oh, I was going to put on ours Arcanum, and I forgot to do that. Well, we're a little overpowered, so we'll be fine. I think. Okay, first round done. <coughs> oh, White Knights, Air Pirates, and Barrel Spiders. So as you can see, this is already incorporating uh, areas like Neverland, Halloween Town, and Atlantica, so that's gonna be something we have to keep track of. Make sure you remember what the weaknesses to everybody is. Battleship and pirates. And unfortunately, we can't fly. So let's just go ahead and take care of this guy first. There we go. Nothing to That was a pretty easy round. Yep. Okay, next one is Gargoyles and White Knights. Oh no, crap! There's a Gargoyle. Is that it? Yep. Nothing to it. Trust me, this doesn't get hard until we get to the last ones. Rare Truffle. Okay. Can we just hit him? I don't know if this is actually how you're supposed to win. Okay. Did I do that right, Andrea? I don't know how they those rare truffles are. Cloud! So we're taking on Cloud next. Is that the best you can do? Ah, uh, better than you, buddy. I got you down. 